We've got a story tonight about a Minnesota man who helped save someone's life and went into the record books at the same time. He did it by donating a kidney, a donation to someone he didn't even know. My name is Ben Ringsdorf. He's a high school teacher with a mission. And I donated a kidney at Mayo. All from a lesson learned after his father received a lung transplant two years ago. A kidney donation really isn't um, that invasive of a surgery, and so I decided I had to do it. Ben became an altruistic donor. He didn't know the person receiving his kidney. He also didn't know he was making history. It was the 5,000th kidney to be a part of the chain donation around the country um, through the kidney uh, donation registry. Mayo Clinic's Dr. Mikel Prieto performed the surgery. He says Ben's donation is not just a milestone. It's part of a life-saving trend. Every week we are doing several of these kidneys where we actually take a kidney from a donor here, but instead of transplanting that kidney into their loved one, uh, the kidney gets shipped to a place so that a, a better a recipient is a good, better candidate for that kidney, and then we get a kidney back from, from another transplant center to transplant into our patient. In Ben's case, a woman in her 40s received his kidney at the UCLA Medical Center. The need for people like Ben to step forward is great, isn't it? As someone once told me, we all have a spare to share. Bethany Nolt was Ben's surgical recovery coordinator at LifeSource. She says kidney donors easily live with their one remaining kidney. Your life may not feel a lot different afterwards, but that recipient's life has changed substantially forever. No more dialysis every day. What Ben proves is that you don't need to know someone who needs a kidney to change a life and make a donation. It's one of the greatest gifts that any human being can do for somebody else. As for Ben, he's in full recovery and hopes others will consider walking the same path. I definitely want uh, other people to know how accessible and possible it is. It's really quite a story. The Dr. Prieto at Mayo Clinic performs about 270 kidney transplant operations a year. At least that's what they do at Mayo Clinic campus in, down in Rochester. And he says the need is great. And Bethany Nolte, who you saw there, she, in Life Source, she says there's about 2,000 Minnesotans currently on the waiting list for a kidney. Yeah. So the need is out there. It is. And what Ben did is just so courageous and uh, gosh I imagine that the recipient is just so thankful and I understand that Ben he attends or he, he teaches. teaches at Roosevelt he High School. teaches at Roosevelt High School and here's the <laughs> the funny part he, he donated his kidney the day after classes ended so his students don't even know he did this so he's got quite the life lesson yeah. for all of them when they all get back together again this fall Wow, fascinating story yeah, it really is